All right, just repeat after me. A'udhu. Um, A'udhu. Billahi. Billahi. Minash shaita. Minash shaita. Nirrajim. Nirrajim. Bismillah. Bismillah. Hir. Hir. Rahma. Rahma. Okay, ha should be sharper. Rahma. Rahma. Nir Rahim. Nir Rahim. Is Ali here? No, she's not here. Oh, okay. Uh, both of you did not send me your assignment. Any reason? Um. Oh, I forgot to send you. Um, I did one. Ah, uh, okay. Did you read yeah. the Did you read the Arabic letters file? Yeah, I did the. I did the last, the bottom one. Ah, uh, all right. That's great. Okay, you forgot I, uh, to send the recording. Yeah, I just forgot to send the. recording. Recording, it also has images, so it's not like a voice recording. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay, no problem. It can be video recording, it can be audio recording, no worries. Yeah, it's a video recording. Yeah, no problem with that. No problem with that. All okay, right. I thought you just... What? Most... I thought you just meant, like, mostly uh, voice recordings. No, 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 no. I deal with every kind of... The, the real thing is that uh, I have to make sure that you practice well and you remember all the letters. That's the end of it. Whether it's video or audio does not matter. Okay, yeah. I s yeah. I'm sending it. Yeah, yeah. I sent it. Oh. Uh, okay. Where did you send? On the score? I cannot send it. I can't send it. Yeah, it's a, it may be a huge file because it's a video one. No worries. You did the assignment. I... That's enough. No worries. All right. Should I? Should you what? Should I make it? Should I make it less uh, long? No, just leave it alone. Yeah, you did the assignment. That's the end of it. Okay. Oh, yeah. It says I need a Naruto. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, yeah, yeah, I think it uh, requires registration uh, to pay. Uh, it requires some fee to be paid and some registration because I think the file is huge and that is why um, it, it, it is, but just leave it alone. Okay, don't bother okay. with it. Yeah. Okay, you just tell me which letter is this one? This is Ya. Okay, this one. Mza. All right, good job. This one. Um, ha. Okay, where do we read Ha from? Um. Yeah, we read Ha from the chest. So, yeah, the chest, and it's. Yeah. Ha. So it's so it is it is a soft Ha. We just have to keep that in mind. It is not sharp. It is soft. Huh? Okay. Which one is this one? Wow. All right. Good job. This one. Noon. All right. Noon. Okay. The a uh sound should be removed. It is noon. Noon. That's better. Yeah. This one. Wow. Um, no, no, no. No. I mean. Uh, meme. Uh, say it again, please. Meme. Okay, not m. It is meme. Meme. Yeah, the uh sound should be removed. Um, other things are correct, but the rest of the things are correct, but the uh sound should be removed. Okay, which one is this one? Lam. Lam. Good job. And this one. Um. Calf. 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 Yeah. What about this? Calf? No. This is heavier. The all oh. sound, remember? Cough. Cough. 
Oh, calf. That was calf. That was calf, not calf, but calf. And this is oh, calf. calf. This is calf. Oh, yeah. And this is calf. Yeah, the other one has a kind of a yaw shape in the middle. Yeah, but this is not the yaw actually. This is uh, the shape yeah. of the calf when it comes at the end. If the letter calf comes in the beginning, there will be a stick coming out of it or branch coming out of it like this. But when, when it comes at the end, this is a, you can say it, uh, that it is a style of writing the calf. It is also a different style of writing the calf. So you will, yeah, find, okay. you, you will find Arabic letters uh, uh, in different styles. So they will vary from uh, one style will vary from uh, the other. But there will be some kind of resemblance. Uh, you, can, you can say that there are different kinds of fonts in Arabic. The same way there are different kinds of fonts in English. But you can recognize that this is this alif uh, alphabet. Uh, so no worries. So this is calf. When calf comes at the end of a word, it looks like this. All right. And this one is cough. It has the aw sound. Cough. It's a heavier one. Yeah. Okay. This do you do, do you remember where do we read the letter cough from? Um, a top toe. Yeah, it comes from the back side of the roof. Oh, the back. Yeah, yeah, back. Oh side yeah, of the... the air. Yeah, yeah. The air hits the up the back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where the road's gonna be? Yeah. All right. So, uh, which letter is this one? Um, that's far. That's far. Good job. What about this? A rain. Rain. It's a heavy one. Rain. Rain. Yeah. Not n. No, the the uh sound. I told you. Remove the uh sound at the end. Rain. It's rain. Rhine. Yeah. Okay. So, where do you read the letter Rhine from? Um, one of our, no, is it one of our throats? It's the top throat, yeah. Yeah, the top throat. I want to say the top throat. Yeah. So, which, which one is this one? Um, this is Ein. Ein. Yeah. Ein, say ein. Ein. No, the, the, the er sound should be removed, you know. Ein. Ein. Yeah. So, so I'm emphasizing on removing the er sound because later on it will create problems. Because later on we are going to learn new rules and we are going to uh, read the words, the Arabic words. If the er sound persists, it will create a, a confusion. Because the the a uh sound at the end uh, is related to a rule, a tajweed rule called kalkala. We will learn that later on. But that applies on some letters, not all of them. That is why you have to um, practice it, and you have to remove the a uh sound uh, from the from the names of the alphabet. So are you getting my point? Yeah. So you have yeah. to like not do it immediately and say it back yeah. slower. Yeah. So, so for example, when you say ein, at the end, the tongue is touching at the roof. Not in the beginning, but at the end, ein. In the name of the letter ein, there is the noon sound. And in the noon sound, the tip is touching at the roof. Now, the thing is not to release the tongue from the roof immediately. Like when we say ein, it means the n sound. We are immediately removing the tongue from the roof. And that is why the uh sound is pro being produced at the end. But if we keep it, if we make it stay at the roof for a, for longer, then the uh sound will not be produced. So it is ein, ein, very simple, ein, ein, no, not no, ein, ein, yeah, as soon as the sound of noon comes in the name of the letter ein, you must stop your sound. You must stop producing the sound. You must you must become silent immediately. That is how you can prevent the er uh sound at the end. Similarly, this is roin. Just repeat after me. Roin. 
Rhein. Yeah, that's it. Good job. Similarly, this is Lam. Lam. That's it. Good job. Meme. Meme. Good job. Noon. Noon. Yeah, so these are the things uh, which you need to remember. So the uh sound will automatically be resolved. All right, which, which will add, there is this one? Um, this is the. Yeah, the. The. Yeah. I, so there should be no twisting in the sound. The. Maybe you have learned some alphabets from your grandma. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, this should not be uh, like wa. No, not wa. It should be wa. Wa. You have to rhyme it with the sound of saw. In English, we say saw. C saw. Like S A W saw. Just rhyme it. All the heavy letters. What? Whenever you read the heavy letter, just rhyme it with the word saw, and then you will know the exact uh, sound which need to be produced. So wa. Saw, saw, saw. Okay, so we don't say saw. We don't say saw in English. We say saw instead. It is not saw. It is saw. Similarly, it is law, saw, saw, saw. Very simple. Are you getting my point? Yeah. All right. So this is law. Okay. Where do you touch your tongue in law? Do you remember? Nowhere. <clears throat> okay, so the tip of the tongue will be touching at the back side of the upper teeth in the letter ZA. That is the letter ZA where we don't touch our tongue anywhere and SEEN where we don't touch our tongue anywhere. But in the letter ZA, we do touch the tongue at the back side of the upper teeth. Are you getting my point? Yes. Okay. I should... just did it. I yeah. did that right now. Yeah, all right. So, which letter is this one? This is TO. TO. Good job. All right. What about this? This is SA. The A sound, remember? Heavy letter. SAD. Yeah, SAD. Okay. In the letter SAD, where are you touching your tongue? The edge. Which edge? Of the two teeth. The upper of teeth? the two front. Yeah. Well, that is wrong. You have. To, oh, it's. You have. You have to place the tip of the tongue at the back side of the bottom front two teeth. The bottom ones. Oh. And it's not the edge; it's the back side. And it's not the the upper ones; the bottom ones. All right. Which which letter is this? This is a uh, scene. But it has three dots at the top, remember? Oh, sheen. Okay, not no at the end, remember? Sheen. Sheen. Yeah, that's hmm. it. And this one? Scene. No, 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 no a uh, sound at the end. Scene. Scene. No, again, you're saying the uh sound. Don't do that. It's scene. Scene. Yeah. Uh, are you using your tab or your laptop for studying? My, my iPad. Your iPad. All right. Do you have the YouTube app installed in your iPad? Yep, I do. All right. So, um. Oh, yeah, I already subscribed to your channel. Bill. So, no, so I seen you. So I was. So you're going to your channel? Yeah, I'm to going to my. Me. Yeah, I'm going to channel actually. Uh. There is a complete playlist dedicated to your uh, lessons. So what I need you to do is uh, just bookmark this 
link. I am sending the link on Discord. I want you to bookmark this link so that you can watch the recorded lessons uh, on daily basis. Okay, it's got the message. Yeah, sometimes the notification does not work. That is why I am uh, saying that if you bookmark the link, it would be easier for you to review all the lessons as well and the latest ones as well. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, you know, uh, you have to watch the recorded lesson in order to remember what we have discussed so far and learned so far. Otherwise, uh, you will easily forget what you have learned. So that is why it's necessary. All right. So this one is, which letter is this one? Oh, wait. I, uh, I was trying to find the playlist. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, okay. No, no, no worries. Just open the playlist and bookmark it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, so now, this now, one? Yeah, which letter scene? is this one? Yeah, scene. All right. And and this one? Za. Yeah, good job. And this one? Ra. All right. And this one? Zal. Zal. Where do you touch your tongue in Zal? The hill? No. The tip of the tongue it will be touching at the edge of the upper tooth Zal. edge I, of the upper teeth yeah Zal. i do touch it at the edge but i accidentally I, actually but, i am asking you the letters in reverse order all right oh yeah I, reverse order. yeah i'm asking you because you need to remember the shape as well as the sound of the alphabet if i only uh, just ask you in the proper order uh, then would... you will you will only remember uh, the sounds and you will remember that i am going to answer this when he, my teacher is going to ask this question but the thing is that that is not the proper way because in the quran these letters will appear in a random order because obviously uh, they will be joined together to form words and obviously in words uh, letters come in random order. They come don't come in A, B, C, D, E, F order. So that is why uh, you have to remember the shapes as well as the sounds and as well as the position that well, from which place this alphabet is going to be pronounced in order to pronounce them pro uh, properly. Are you getting my point? Yep. Yeah. So this is the letter dal. The tip of the tongue will be touching at the edge of the upper teeth. All right. Which which one is this one? Dal. Dal. More softer, please. Dal. Dal. Yeah, dal. So you know, there is no D element in it. D is not an Arabic. Uh, the sound of D is not in Arabic language. The sound of D, T, P. These sounds do not exist in Arabic language. So, dal is more softer. It should be dal, say dal. Dal. Dal, yeah. This is why I avoid writing Arabic letters in English. So I have written the names of some of the Arabic letters in English because the sounds are somewhat similar. Like Lam, L-A-A-M, Lam. There's nothing uh, different. Like, different like M? Yeah, Lam. Like Kaf, K-A-A-F, Kaf, M-E-E-M, -E -E Meme, Noon. So these uh, you can easily find the sounds of these alphabets in English. However, there are some sounds which cannot be reproduced in English. English is limited in that case. Dal is one of those letters. So, Dal is a soft letter. Tip of the tongue will be touching where in Dal? You tell me. 
What will the tip of the tongue be touching? Yeah. Where will we touch our tongue? In dal. The hill. The hill. Yeah, good job. Okay, which one is this one? This is thaf. No, it's the heavy letter. The ha. Ha. More scratchy. Ha. 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 That's better. Good job. So, from which place does the letter ha originate? Um, the middle throat. No, the top throat. Oh, the top throat. Yeah. I thought it was the middle throat. No, that's not the middle. Throat. Oh yeah, I feel it from the middle throat. I mean the top throat. Yeah, it's it's it yeah it appears from the top throat. Okay, which letter is this one? This is ha. Ha, and where do we read ha from? Our chat. No, that's the other ha. Ha. Ha Our comes throat. from. Ha comes from which throat? The bottom throat. No, it's the middle throat. No, the middle throat. Yeah. Ha comes from it the middle throat. Good. Yeah. Okay, which one is this one? Dream. Okay, this one. Sa. Sa should be more softer. Make it more softer. Sa. Oh. Sa. Yeah. So where do you touch your tongue in Sa? The edge. The edge of the upper teeth. Good job. Okay, which one is this it. one? Ta and you touch it, but with you get your tongue and touch the hill of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good job. Okay, which one is this? Ba. And this one. The first letter, alif. Yeah. Alif. Alif. Say, yeah, alif. All right, now the thing is that uh, I wanted to teach this alphabet today, the last one. Uh, however, uh, what happened to Ali? Why didn't she attend the class today? Um, I don't. I think she went out. Okay, she went out. Um, actually, actually, the uh, thing is that uh, uh, if uh, you or her, if you or she skips any sessions, then it will delay our progress. So... I want to tell you beforehand, don't get frustrated if our progress is delayed. Because, you know, punctuality is necessary. Now, let me give you, uh, let me tell you one thing. I have told you many things today. Is it correct? Yep. I corrected you on many accounts. Is it correct? Yep. If... Ali would have be uh, present here. She would also have listened to what I was telling you. And as a result, she would also have avoided those mistakes. Now, I know that everything is being recorded and I am going to upload the it on YouTube. But uh, the recording cannot, cannot do that kind of justice which live sessions can. So, for example, uh, if you make any mistake, I am here to correct that mistake. But if you make a mistake in front of a recorded video, the video is lifeless. It cannot judge you. It cannot correct you. Uh, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. So, the thing is that uh, it is necessary that live sessions should not be skipped unnecessarily. If uh, if a person gets sick or if there is some kind of emergency or some serious thing, then uh, we cannot help it's it. Necessary. It's necessary to skip. No, then... no. If it oh, is no, no, look, look. If there is an, any kind of emergency then it's okay to skip. We cannot help it. 
Yeah. But if yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, this is what I what you meant. So, was uh, that uh, there an emergency for uh, Ali to skip the session? Did she go to some doctor or something, or maybe was there an important event that she needed to attend? I don't remember too much. Okay, you don't remember. Or maybe it's a secret. You don't want to share it. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So, uh, anyway, make sure that she watches and you also watch the recorded lesson. And she also keep those things in mind. So, inshallah, tomorrow we will discuss this alphabet. It needs a bit of detail. So, inshallah. Okay, meet you tomorrow. Wish you best of luck. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Goodbye. Goodbye.